Have you ever heard of the quantum mind? There are many deep-rooted beliefs in our subconscious mind that influence our interpretation of everything that happens to us. Both in the external world as well as in our inner world. On the other hand, many of these beliefs are mistaken and lead to thoughts, emotions, and behaviors that make up our mental blocking and suffering. Think about it. Let's say we all have the power to transform our reality and even the power to choose what hopes we harbor. But we need to understand what the quantum mind is before we can reach that point. All living beings and all the things that surround us, what we think reality is, is formed by atoms. Atoms which are empty in great measure. Besides, to understand what we'll talk about below, we must keep this in mind. Everything physical is not made of matter. Instead, it's made of energetic fields or information frequency patterns. Matter is more energy than particles. The old school belief was that electrons orbited around the nucleus like planets around the sun. But the new school tells us that. An atom is composed 99.99999% by energy and just 0.00001% by matter. If we look at this proportionally, it's almost nothing. Quantum physicists discovered that a person observing the infinitesimal particles of an atom actually affects the behavior of this energy and matter. Quantum experiments prove that electrons exist as infinite possibilities or probabilities in an invisible field of energy. But only when the observer focuses his attention on the location of an electron is when that electron appears. In short, a particle cannot manifest itself in reality. That is to say, a particle cannot manifest itself in spacetime as we know it until it is observed. So, when the observer searches for an electron, there is a specific point in space and time in which all the possibilities of the electron collapse into a physical event. With this discovery, mind and matter can no longer be considered separate. They are intrinsically linked. Because the subjective mind produces perceptible changes in the objective physical world. Here we're referring to a quantum mind. Think about how, at a subatomic level, energy responds to our attention and becomes matter. If so, how would our life change if we learn to direct the observing effect? If we learn to collapse infinite waves of probability in the reality we desire? Would we be better observers of the life we want to live? By nature, everything there is in the physical universe is made of subatomic particles like electrons. These particles are in a wave state, let's remember energy represents 99.99999% of it, while they are not observed. They are potentially everything and nothing at the same time until they are observed. They exist both everywhere and nowhere until they are observed. Therefore, everything there is in our physical reality exists as pure potential. If subatomic particles can exist simultaneously in an infinity of possible places, we are potentially able to collapse into an infinity of possible realities. This means, if we can imagine a future event in our life based on our wishes, this reality already exists as a possibility in the quantum field just waiting for us to observe it. If our quantum mind has the capacity to influence the appearance of an electron, in theory it should be able to influence the appearance of any possibility as well. Our thoughts and feelings are no exception to all of this. Both our thoughts and feelings have an electromagnetic signal. Our thoughts send an electrical signal to the quantum field. This way, our feelings would have the power to magnetically attract situations in life. By combining what we think and what we feel we produce a state of being which generates an electromagnetic imprint. And this imprint influences every atom in our world. It makes you wonder. What are we transmitting consciously or subconsciously into our everyday lives? There is an infinity of possible electromagnetic traces of genius, wealth, freedom, health, 
among others already existing as a pattern of energy frequency. If by changing our state of being and by this we mean changing our beliefs and consequently changing our thoughts, emotions and behaviors we create a new electromagnetic field which would match with this potential in the quantum field of information, is it possible we will stumble upon this situation by being attracted to it or that the situation will find us? Everything indicates that this is a very probable hypothesis based on today's knowledge of physics. But for this to happen, we have to be aware of the beliefs in our subconscious causing our blockages. For example, we consciously want to make money but our subconscious mind gives an opposite order. When we were children, we saw and heard that money is hard to get and rich people are arrogant. That's the signal our subconscious mind sends to the quantum field, and that's the reason we don't attract money into our lives. It would be necessary for us to unlock this type of belief. And this is because change requires coherence. Coherence begins by aligning our thoughts with our feelings. How many times have we tried to create something? We believed in our quantum minds that we would achieve it, while our hearts told us otherwise? What results were produced by that incoherent signal we were sending? The waves of a signal are much more powerful when they are coherent. And the same thing happens when our thoughts are aligned with our feelings. We transmit more powerful electromagnetic signals when our thoughts are clear and focused on our goals. They also get stronger when they are accompanied by a passionate emotion. And these powerful electromagnetic signals are the ones that draw us to a possible reality matching the one we desire. Maybe you want abundance in your life, and you have thoughts about being rich. But if you feel poor, and following the hypothesis we're taking, you won't attract abundance. Why? Because thoughts are the language of the brain, just like feelings are the language of the body. We're thinking one thing and feeling something totally different at the same time. And when that coherence doesn't exist, the field doesn't respond coherently either. Let's keep in mind that we have an enormous power to create the reality in which we live. I hope you like this video, subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.